Welcome back to Late Night Existential Jazz. Let's talk with Jess here. Dear me. We know. Hmm. Go ahead then. <laughs> Good to see you, Jess. Your coat is all glossy and stuff. <laughs> Jesus. I almost want to say that just to see what she says, but no. We were hoping to use your hybrid contacts for... something. <sighs> I don't have time for your drawl, Nelavanda. Hey, Bubblehead. You're not as chatty. Give me the whole situation in three sentences or less. Go. Ooh, okay. So, we're... she's challenging Bubblehead to basically be a super succinct Twitter. Can you fit your tweet in three sentences or less? Go for it. Um, Parallax is launching a new powerful machine intelligence onto the mesh. Okay, that's one. Two more to go. We want to stop it. That's two. We need your help to create a distraction so we can break into the server farm without getting arrested. There's three. You did it, Turing. Good job. First you want me to steal a car, now this? You two don't make this easy. Why is this so important again? Hmm. Second one's kind of rude. Put two and two together, Jess. But, uh... What am I more worried about? Am I more worried about Congress and lawmakers enacting harsher laws because of Big Blue going crazy? Or am I more, more worried about what people will do? I mean, Congress is obviously made up of people, so there's not a huge distinction between them, I suppose. Let's go with the first one. If Parallax's AI goes Skynet, how will Congress react? You already know the general public doesn't really think of hybrids as human. The lockdown rights of all people they fear. Hybrids will become enemies of the state. Shit. <laughs> Music changed tone. Went from smooth jazz to... Uh... What is this? Is this like training montage music? This is getting shit done music, I think. Well, that about sums it up. Alright, fine. You have my attention. So, hypothetically, what exactly would you have me do? We need you to call in some help from your contacts and have them stir up trouble with the human revolution. We'll ensure our contacts inside the HR will be ready to escalate the protests, at least enough to draw an increased police presence. Ah, right. We're trying to get the hybrids in the the human revolution to have a, a riot, basically. That should buy us the breathing room we need. Nothing too wild, but enough to draw away their attention. I figured it would be something like that. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let me make some calls. Let's get this straight, though. I'm doing this for me and my people. I'm putting my reputation and career on the line here. You're asking me to start shit with the police. If you screw me on this, I'll make you regret it. I assure you, Miss Miez, we will not screw you. Although, to be fair, I'm not entirely sure what that means. Right. I was tired of playing the public relations game with these human revolution assholes anyway. Time to crack some skulls. Uh, maybe not that much violence? Holy shit. Did you not get the understanding hyperbole chip or whatever? I need to make some calls. Later. Well, that was fun. 
as always. Good call on keeping her in the dark about the real plan. You're right about that. I have a feeling she's going to be mighty ticked about having thousands of machine intelligences running around instead of just one. Does she really think I'm not too chatty? <clears throat> that aside, let's get going. There's one more person I think we should talk to, Nilabanda. Dr. Fairlight could perhaps give us vital information on how to get into the server complex. I know he was just a board member, but I have a feeling he's been keeping a keen eye on Parallax since he was ousted. Lexi, Jess, Chad, and Oliver may be able to buy us cover. But Fairlight could get us our way in. Hmm. I don't really trust Fairlight. Honestly, I would rather him not know about our plan. I mean, he was the one that... He's not, he doesn't share the same ideals as the human revolution, right? But I'm worried he's going to be too anti-technology and too, too worried about our plan to make all, all ROMs sapient that he would want to stop us. And that's assuming he's even trustworthy. Assuming he's even trustworthy, I feel like he might not like that plan. He might think that's too extreme. Of course, Big Blue is obviously even more, well, I don't know if it's more extreme than that, but it's certainly worse than more... Having Big Blue running is certainly more potentially volatile than having all ROMs become sapient. So if he's a reasonable person, then he should agree that this is a reasonable plan, but still. I'm not sure he'd be okay with all ROMs becoming sapient. And I'm also not sure if I even trust him to be on our side anyway. But on the other hand, he does hate Parallax, no? Which means if anybody would be motivated to help us get into Parallax and mess with them. It would be him. I'm going to voice my distrust of him, though. I'm not sure that I trust him. I don't either. But I'm not sure we have any other choice. Out of everyone that's assisted us thus far, I trust him the least. Yep, same here. He has an unclear ulterior motive. And I'm only guessing that it lines up with our own. It's a risk talking to him, but a calculated one. We should at least sound him out, if possible. We might be able to get a read on if he's telling the truth or not. He should still be at the hospital, if my previous correspondences with him are accurate. Okay, I'm going to be careful with what information we, div we divulge to him, though. I really don't want him to know about our plan, because then he could potentially stop it. You know what, let's speak with Decker first. Actually, before that, let's pet the bot. You pat the tiny rom on the head. Bleep cheerfully again. Good bot. What do you sound like again? Ah, right, just the intense desire to clean and scrub. Keep going, Washua. Keep cleaning. And yes, tears are sanitary. That's an Undertale reference. No, I touched the Decker. Don't touch the Decker. Talk to the Decker. Hey, Nilavanda. Funny seeing you two here. What can I help with today? There have been developments that we need to let Dr. Fairlight know about. Could you show us to him? Hmm, no can do. Sorry, but he's actually not here right now. I'm just doing his paperwork and filling out some prescriptions. All this new technology and I still gotta come here in person. What a world, right? Anyway, Fairlight is speaking at this really important holiday benefit, and he will have my rear if I interrupt him for anything less than the end of the world. So, why don't you just lay it on me instead? Fairlight's gotten me up to speed on things. Hell, about the only thing I don't do is wipe his butt for him. Hmm...
Okay, I was worried I was going to have to make the decision of whether to tell him or not, but it looks like I actually can't tell him. Which is good, because I would be very nervous about giving him the information. Even more nervous than I am about giving it to Fairlight. Uh, we really should tell Fairlight directly. Well, you could wait for the event to finish, but those usually go until well past midnight. Such ragers. Ragers? If we don't have that kind of time, then... We'll pass. It's pretty confidential. Hey, I know all about confidential. I'm pretty sure I still have my top secret clearance from the government. Unless they revoked it at some point. They probably did. Don't tell anyone though, okay? I still need that cred to help pick up chicks. <sighs> we don't have time for this. Come on, Lavanda. I have to tell him? Shit. Okay. Great. I'm happy to listen. Or at least I'm paid to be. We recently discovered that Hayden was removed because he may have interfered with the secret project Parallax is launching. They've developed a network to machine intelligence that they're planning to release onto the mesh. We were hoping Dr. Fairlight could help us, uh, could get us a way in so that we can shut it down. I cannot overstate the danger of Parallax having any control of this entity. Okay, yeah, I like the way Turing stated it. Didn't give out, didn't give away our plan to um, upload the source code that made Turing into the machines and put them on the firmware of all ROMs. Don't want to state that bit. Phew, you weren't kidding, were you? I can see why having a leashed AI would be such a big freaking deal. The comment from that kind of thing would be a scummy marketer's wet dream. Not to mention all the possible applications to the CIA. Comint, is that communications intelligence? Does this qualify as end of the world important then, Mr. Decker? Or end of the world importance, rather? Hmm. Yeah, it sure as hell does. Actually, it goes a bit above and beyond that. I don't think I can tell Yannick about this. What? Why not? Look, you know and I know that the old bastard's itching to get back at the helm of Parallax. He plays a good game of ceremonial ribbon cutting, but he's been sniffing around for a way to get back at the board ever since he was outed. Thankfully, this could play right into his hands, so it's win-win for all of us, right? But he's got to have plausible deniability. If there's even a whiff that he orchestrated this, he'll be done for. This is all very clandestine. What do you suggest? Hmm. He pays me well to make these kinds of decisions autonomously. I may fetch and gather for him, but I clean up little messes too. Why don't we just call this a little mess? And I'll come help you out myself, eh? My military training should be more than enough to get us into the server mainframe without inside info. I still don't trust you, Leon. You don't have to trust me. Trust all the zeros in my salary. I do this for a living. I'm an expert, a professional. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this a reference to a movie? I'm an expert, a professional. And this person's name is Leon Decker? Leon the Professional? Mmm. I think that's a reference to the movie. You're too green to be that confident about going in alone, Anderson Cooper. You made your point, Mr. Decker. What do you think, Turing? Mm. All right, we'll accept your help, Mr. Decker. Great, I knew you'd see it my way. We do this right, and make them crash tomorrow, and Yannick will be, be able to buy out enough shares to get a seat back on the board. 
You can meet us at the entrance to the Storm Dreams, just south of the main Parallax Complex. We'll make our entry from there. I can work with that. Just give me a bit to get some of my old gear. I wouldn't want to start the party unprepared. Well, that's the last of the people I think we can recruit in Elevanda. Any more would be unwieldy. And we have a nice round set of skills to utilize. Let's head to Parallax now. I'll message Detective Rivers and we can wait for Mr. Decker to catch up to us there. Tomcat should be done with their programming soon. And then we can head in. Is that everything? I hope so. We get one shot here. Ready? Ooh, this music. Ooh, this music. Ah, Detective Rivers. I see you've beaten us here. Sure. Wanted to get the lay of the land before anybody else showed up. You ready to head in? We're waiting for one other person, and then I need to get our distraction going. Speak of the devil. <laughs> ah, Mr. Decker. Precisely. Detective Rivers, allow me to... <laughs> I know who he is. Leon Decker, ex-Marine, served in North Korea. Record heavily redacted. And he works for Yannick Fairlight. Who I'm sure is willing to help us out of the kindness of his heart, yeah? You have me at a disadvantage, miss. I've never made a secret of Yannick's goals here. But the enemy of my enemy is my friend, right? And turning here is going to give Parallax an awfully bloody nose. Yannick can use that. <laughs> and I'm sure that's all your cards laid out on the table, huh? You sure you want to work with this guy, Turing? I don't like the look of him. You've got good eyes, detective. They're new. <clears throat> yes, Detective Rivers. I believe Mr. Decker will prove invaluable on this mission. Statistically, we're an entire 17% more likely to succeed with his expertise. Fine. We'll play it your way. Great. What's the plan, little guy? Tomcat and I have been unable to find the precise schematics of these storm drains, as they underwent some modifications when Parallax began construction here. But the city's primary power and communications lines still run parallel along them, for maintenance purposes. The service center is certain to be set adjacent to the tunnel complex to allow easier connection. If we make our way through the drains, we should be able to exit at least close to the new server building. That will get us past the worst of the exterior alarms and defenses of the complex. They don't have security alarms in the storm drains? Well, they probably do, but it's unlikely they're in good repair. The water level rises frequently, and maintenance is usually only handled during the dry season, in the middle of summer. The moving water should give us an enormous amount of false positives. We'll have to move quickly, since the rains upstream will cause erratic surges in the water levels. What about the server building? Do we have plans for it? Any info on the guard rotations? Construction on that finished only last year. It's state-of-the-art, and currently services the primary ROM control and distribution network. Based on what we've learned, I'm assuming it was built primarily to give Big Blue enough power to sift through all of the data on the network. That's the big bad AI, right? Right. The entire facility is automated. Security, maintenance, even new construction. All run by ROMs. There might be a single human engineer on site to take care of anything the ROMs can't figure out. But we shouldn't have to worry about any intervention. At least not immediately. I think we can handle some robots. Assuming Leon is as good of a shot as the blank marks in his, in his file suggests. 
<laughs> Lady, I'm even better than that. Once we make our way to the primary server control core, I can link myself into the network, and Tomcat can work their magic. That's all we have to do. <laughs> That's an awful lot of question marks before we get to the profit, but we'll figure it out. Anything you'd like to add, Nelavanda? All right, let's see. We let's say we see somebody. What do we do? That's what the stunners are for. They'll do bad things to a ROM, but it'll only discombobulate a human. Discombobulate? You aren't the only one who can query the mesh for a dictionary. Hmm. And how are we gonna get out? I'll buy us some time, one way or another. At the very least, we should be able to bluff our way out with my badge. There'll be hell to pay later, but we'll make it out with our hides intact. You can just pretend I'm the bad guy and slap some cuffs on me. Yannick can get me out of holding if I need it. A sound plan, Mr. Decker. Yeah. I won't have to pretend much for that. And what about a backup plan? If worst comes to the worst, Tomcat should be able to damage the servers in some way. We won't be able to stop Parallax completely, but it should slow them down. It might even buy us some time to escape, since we'll be too busy trying to keep the racks from melting down. Alright, that covers it. Let's do this. Excellent. Let me call Oliver and put our distraction in motion. After that, I'll call Jess. <laughs> Is this somebody's cell phone? Turn. We're in position. Oh, I thought somebody was getting a... Like, maybe Mr. Decker was getting a call. An awkward call. It's like, yeah, call me back some other time. I'm doing a, kind of a heist thing here. Sort of a Mission Impossible kind of thing. We're in position. Are you ready? Tell him I'm sick of standing around staring at these losers' faces. Shut up, Chad. I can hear the... I can't hear the phone. We're ready when you are, Oliver. Go ahead and let Chad do his thing. Okay. We'll try to buy you as much time as we can. Chad? We're on. Hell yes. You two ready to do this? Let's bust some skulls! Sorry. He gets overexcited sometimes. Come get some! Ah, someone just hit me with a bottle! Oops, gotta go! Oh, did you see the arm on that fox girl? So awesome! Uh, okay. Hello, Jess. Holy shit. Did the robot really just call me? How did you even get my personal line? Uh... You know what? Never mind. I'm just here in the midst of committing the felony of inciting a riot. No big deal, yeah? One more thing to have my tech guy handle, after these CTV cameras all mysteriously lose connection to the mesh. I know why you're calling. Next time, just send up a signal flare or something. Let's get this going, people! Go show those revolution scum who's the real future of humanity. Good to hear you have things in hand. Oh yeah, all under control. Give Nilavanda my love. This is kind of fun. Hey, Claire. See if you can wing that blue mohawk douche with a bottle again. <laughs> Oh, they're talking about Starfucker. Uh, right. We're good to go. Let's hurry. That's Parallax HQ, huh? What a freaking huge building. Ooh, palm tree. Large palm tree looms overbearingly besides the path. 
Spoiled milk? This palm is on a strict, no dairy diet. Is that it? No point in sticking up a bear tree. It's not just a lamp, it's a street lamp. <laughs> Why am I looking at descriptions of street lamps when I'm supposed to be doing a mission? Nope, it's dirty. Even the bulb is totally immune from removal by shaking. That's the Parallax Headquarters. Yes, all of that is for just one corporation. You wave cheerfully across the park, but the behemoth skyscraper cruelly ignores you. Shoot it. Don't divert from the plan now. Besides, the zapper has a maximum range of only around 20 feet. The lamp towers atop the entrance to the underground tunnel powered by two cables clamped to its head, as if it were a vintage car battery. Yeah, that thing looks cobbled together. Looks dangerous. Not only should you never touch a bug zapper, but there's more than one thing on this janky setup that looks dangerous. Wait, hold on, one more thing. Shrub! No, nobody has hidden in the bush to spy on you. Your years of cartoon watching have yet to pay off. Tis a good shrubbery but a dense one with hidden thorny bits. Brochure? Really? You don't think this bush has to deal with enough junk already? <laughs> Alright, let's go. We can't go in with the tunnel lid blocking us. Oh. Oh, that's a separate thing. Okay. The lid is mechanical, and it refuses to allow you to open it. Well, abort plan. It's over. Won't budge? I should have expected this to be blockaded, based on what I know of their issue with people making camp in the tunnels. Luckily, yours truly was designed and created by a high-ranking official Parallax employee, who was very close friends with another high-ranking official Parallax employee, whose access badge we now possess. Go ahead, Nelavanda. You swipe Vincent's parallax badge against the lid security panel, and it flashes in affirmation. Let's go. Okay, Nelavanda, it's time. We'll call Tomcat once we get inside, assuming we find a way in, and they'll lead us into the system. Let's go. Huh. It's better lit in here than I expected. Yeah, this actually looks kind of pretty. The city replaced all of the lighting in areas like this with low-power, high-durability LEDs a few years back. Actually cut down on vagrants setting up camp in the tunnels and drowning when the rains came through. Either that, or they could just see better enough to know when to clear out. Maybe. <laughs> That's true, that could be it too. Speaking of that, we should move quickly. The waters are likely to rise soon. Not high enough to be dangerous, but... I don't float well. I can handle being submerged, but I can't swim. Keep an eye out for one of those maps they leave out for the maintenance crew. Might be printed on the wall, or maybe a terminal if someone was willing to waste that much money. Okay, everyone, let's keep moving. Ooh, move forward. That's the first time I've ever actually seen that as a control. Move forward. Oh, this is cool. sign is orange, so it just means caution, not warning. Suppose I should follow the wires, right? Look, there's an information terminal. 
<laughs> now we know what the city spends its credits on. Let's see where we are and plan out our path, then. Okay, looks easy enough. I suppose. So, I go forwards and then I take a left. So, left, left, right, forwards. I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget. Left, left, right, forwards. Okay, that should do it. Of course, we have to go forwards first. Keep going forwards. Okay, take a left. Wait, what's this? A sign means water. Imagine that. Warning, don't drown. <laughs> Very helpful, thanks. Okay, so left. That's the first left. Be careful, everyone. The water is starting to deepen. We need to get going. If the water rises too much more, we're gonna get washed out of here. Turn will probably be okay, but the rest of us need to breathe. Mostly. Alright, take another left. Then take, well, there's a screen here, might as well look at it. Yep, I'm exactly where I thought it was. Take a right, and then go forwards. Here it is. This is the ladder we're looking for. Finally. Remind me to pass on this part of the mission next time, Nilabanda. I'd rather deal with your sister being mad at me. The main server building is just up there. Let's hurry before someone notices us. Those kids probably can't keep that ride up much longer. Hmm. I think I know where we are. Parallax filed this building's plans with the city per regulation, and although they're clearly incomplete, these hallways are mapped out rather well. It's a straight shot to the server core from here, more or less. We've got activity. Looks like something's moving up ahead. The building security, virtual intelligence must have noticed us. Already? We'll have to make it past those ROMs without getting ourselves caught somehow. No problem. We've all got stunners that will make those bots fry, at the highest setting. Well, is there another way? We don't have to destroy them completely, do we? Not to put too fine a point on it, Turing, but they're not like you. They're just plastic and programming. Puppets. But they won't always be. Not for much longer. Lexi. Decker. Once we replace Big Blue with my original source code, we'll have the power to make every ROM a sapient individual. Just like me. I, I know it seems like splitting hairs, but it seems wrong to destroy them when we've come here to give them life. They deserve it. Oh, fine. Here, give me that stunner. Alright. Done. I've changed the settings on it to give a lower yield with a more lengthy pulse. It should disrupt them long enough for us to get past, and won't do any permanent damage to any systems that can't be repaired. Hmm. Does that assuage your bleeding heart? Yes. Thank you, Mr. Decker. No problem. We can't all be soldiers. Nelavanda will have to do all the shooting, though. Decker and I will keep our stunners at default settings so we can handle any humans that show up. That low power pulse would just piss most people off, but it wouldn't stop them. Lead the way, Nelavanda. We're almost there. Oh god, am I actually gonna have to do shooting? Medium range electro laser pistol? Hey, wait a minute. Wait, what's this? Maintenance worker uniform. I still got that in my inventory? Huh. What if I just pour super spoiled milk on one of the ROMs? Or maybe even a human, do you think that would work? 
Maybe it'd be so disgusted that it would just like turn itself off. Life isn't worth living. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, because I think we're just about to get in deep. So let's save that for the next one. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to sneak in and maybe zap some ROMs if I have to.